We're stranded on this island in the ocean, and the only way to survive is to cross this channel. But all we have is duct tape. We have no food, we have no water, we have nothing. Just duct tape. Why did we agree to do this? This island isn't United States territory, which means the Coast Guard can't save us. Pirates could steal our camera gear. I'm the cameraman. No. And anything that washes up on shore stays here. Oh no. The only way off this island is for me and Caleb to build some type of raft. If it takes two hours or two weeks, doesn't matter. I'm just actually nervous because this isn't like a joke. Like this is actually dangerous. We could suffer from dehydration, heat exhaustion, starvation, and not to mention these waters are swarming with sharks, jellyfish, stingrays, and horseflies. Hi, how are you? First thing we gotta do is explore the island. You never know what's gonna wash up on shore, stuff we can use, how big this thing is. And like we said, since this island is unmanned, unsanctioned, and no laws, anything that washes up on here, we can use. Caleb, over there. You see that big, like, structure thing? Yeah. We can't use this. Ow, it's hot, it's eggs. Why do we run all the way over here for this? Look at this. It's like legit like a pallet. We might be able to make a raft out of this. Uh, we have to carry this back to camp. A quarter mile hike back that way. What else are we gonna do? I actually really hope this works, it's pretty cool. I'm working on making a couple oars for our raft and then I think we might be ready for a beta test. In order to get to the peninsula, it's gonna be a mile away on this raft. Do you think you can paddle a mile on a rusty old pallet? We have to figure it out over there. We're gonna go to the north side of the island over there. To launch it? Yep. Take my shoes off. Will this float? It should float, right? Maybe. I don't think that's gonna be safe. It's floating. Sit on it. <laughs> I don't know about this. What the heck? We quickly realized that one pallet wasn't even close to the amount we needed to float. That was a pretty good first try, right? No. We have to get bigger logs to like support the sides. I'm hungry. What is that? What is that? Oh, Pino's here. They washed up on shore. Ooh, don't eat that oh, one. Oh, that one's got mold and something in there. Oh! I was about to take a bite, but I don't know. I might just get diseases. <laughs> We're taking a pee and look what I just did. Oh. Hey, check this out, Andrew. Lead. How'd you do that? I peed. Hey, look at this place. It's just sand for miles. Some things we're worried about. Obviously heat, exhaustion, dehydration. We have no water. And there are sharks that patrol this area. We looked it up on this website that tracks sharks and there was a great white shark that was in this area. 12 foot long. So the only way off is the raft. I'm already sweating. I'm gonna have to build a hat. We have to be careful about how much duct tape we use on pr different projects because this is all we have. I'm going to look for some type of plastic sheet and a water bottle or something that can hold water to see if we can create a machine that can give us drinking water. Yes, science! I think I see Caleb way off in the distance. He was waving at me. This is the point where Caleb began losing his mind and started to experience the symptoms of heat exhaustion. We found some plastic crap in a water bottle to create the water condensation to give us drinking water. Do you think that'll work? It has to, because I'm about to, I'm starting to die. Oh, boo -hoo. Cool hack. If you break a shell in half, it makes a makeshift knife for slicing things. I killed myself with a rusty nail. <laughs> I did it. Dig a hole now. Pray to God we get drinking water. Right, my hat is done. Dude, that's the dumbest thing I've ever seen. Ouch, the tape on the inside. I forgot about that. Uh-uh. Building a shovel for our clean water drinker maker. Once I close up this plastic wrap that I put together, the heat and the plants that are alive should create condensation. Put a weight in the center and it'll drip drinking water into the cup. You promise? Nope. <laughs> We should have drinking water in a couple hours. First roll of duct tape all gone. So now we have to go explore the rest of the island. So we gotta go all the way that way. And then we gotta go all the way that way. Looks like there might be some pretty good supplies that way, but we don't know yet. There's something very suspicious up here. I don't know what it is, but it looks like tunnels or something. What the heck? Dude, they literally go underground. What is this even for? A place for us to sleep tonight. Caleb's gonna go in the sand tunnel. I'm scared there's gonna be like some type of animal in here. Ow! <laughs> Dude, it's actually really cold in here. This is a really solid spot to like get away from the sun. Still, no matter what, we have to build this raft because I don't want to be here overnight because who knows what comes on this island at night. There's a stingray down there. You can see it right there in the water. This is like just a couple yards from where we were trying to launch our raft. And where there's stingrays, there's sharks. Cool 
chuck it ball. We're not cheating. This is just a drone and our camera equipment. We are legit stuck on this island. How are we gonna upload if we don't bring our camera equipment? What is this? It's a giant slab of concrete. Holy. That's where we have to get to with our homemade wrap. And we're basically starting from zero because the pallet didn't work. We need to find more tree trunks, logs, and sticks like this size so we can float away. I found something good over there. <laughs> what? Caleb, <laughs> did you fall down that? I was about to say, I think Caleb's lost his mind. <laughs> Caleb might be the worst person you could be stranded with on an island. We are going to fly one of our subscribers out to be in a survival challenge with us. So you have got to hit the subscribe button. My water contraption didn't work. It started to condensate like I thought. But it had been like two hours. Uh, we still hadn't had a drop. By tonight, we might be able to have one sip. If we don't build this boat before nightfall, we're gonna be in big trouble. Oh, and it's got jumbo nails. The whole tree truck. <laughs> All right, pick that up. See how heavy it is. You could like literally turn this into a canoe. We don't have tools. All we have is stupid duct tape. That's weighing it down so much. There's no way we can use this. I think this will float. Just gotta roll it back to all of our other pieces of wood. All right, I'm gonna leave the log here. This is where we'll build our boat. As you can see, the waves are way worse over here, so this is a great idea, Caleb. It's closer to, to where we need to go. I might, we might have just found a jackpot. We just gotta get this thing out of the sand. Ah, yeah! Holy crap, this is heavy. Oh, oh I'm losing it. Oh, all right. Oh. I think if we combine this with that one, with that big piece of wood, we should be able to make a wrap. Oh my gosh. But we are basically all in on this because we spent the whole day and we have nothing to show for it. The sun is going down. We got like maybe two to three more hours of sunlight. What is that? It's like some uh, some weird doohickey. It's got disease on it. Yeah. I feel like we could duct tape it over like the pontoons, the sides, and use this as like our little saggy seat. I'm not sure what all this garb is, but it works. I'm about to, I'm starting to feel like the effects of the heat. I'm nervous, I'm gonna start getting heat exhaustion soon, so I'm just gonna go in the water. What the? Caleb. Oh my. You know that scene in uh, Pirates of the Caribbean where Jack Sparrow's like on the sand, sandy beaches, the white sandy beaches? That's basically where we are, and there's nothing out here. All right, we have the full first duct tape pontoon. It is ready to go. Holding together pretty well, I'd say. It's looking pretty sweet. How it's gonna get over these waves, I don't know. Now we just gotta attach it to that thing. All right, this is what we have so far. Looking pretty good. <laughs> We've gone through like five rolls of duct tape. Tide is coming in as we talk. See how far up it is? It's almost to the raft. I think all we have left is to throw the tarp on and hopefully we're sailing away. Look at this thing. What have we made? I don't know. I'm just, I'm ready to go home. Why don't you uh, sit in the middle, see what it looks like. <laughs> I just want to go home. It might work. It has to work. We used all of the duct tape almost on it. All right, guys, you have got to subscribe. We are actually going to fly one of our subscribers out to be in a survival challenge with us. So you have to subscribe. All right, it's moment of truth. We are going to push the raft into the water. Caleb, are you ready? As ready as I'll ever be. I think this is the best work we could do given the materials and only having duct tape. Anchors up to the ocean. <laughs> After seeing the raft, we realized it was only big enough to carry one person. So I had to leave Caleb behind and hopefully a boat could bring me back and rescue him. I need a way to get out to sea. What? Come okay. back for me. I'll try. If I can even get off this stinking island. I can do it. Oh my. I gotta push it out. So the raft only holds one person and if we want to get out here before nightfall we don't have time to put to figure out a new way to put both of us on there. So Andrew's going alone. So now my entire fate relies on him getting to shore successfully and coming back for me. I might be stuck out here at night by myself. <sighs> Later 
Louis found out the shoreline is a feeding ground for sharks as fish swim through the channel. working <laughs> it looks like it's falling apart i cannot actually believe this is like half working <laughs> oh my gosh oh ah. like going out to see guys oh my boat's tipping over this thing is not stable oh, holy crap oh we're tipping over oh shoot oh, ah. we gotta get back to shore i don't know how to get back <laughs> What happened? It's over! We're the sharks! Fun fact, sharks are my biggest fear. And as soon as the boat tipped, I started having a panic attack. We gotta get it back. Even though it was probably a 99% chance I wouldn't get eaten, that 1% was all I needed to get me and this raft back to shore. <laughs> Whoa! There's a huge spider on here. He was trying to set me up. It's actually intact, it didn't get destroyed. It flipped over and then there's no way I would have sailed across the ocean in this thing. There's too many nails and I got nervous of sharks, so that didn't help. Oh, <coughs> what are we gonna do? The sun was setting and the ocean was only getting more dangerous. We got to a point where our health and safety was the top priority. So we flagged down a fishing boat and made it back to land. It's out there. I see him. We love you guys. See you next time.